Friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Ken Smith, and I am really excited to bring you Steve's tow truck. Now, this is not a stock Model A tow truck. This is kind of a cannibalized thing that the city had done. Steve is going to get into exactly what they did. And what's more fascinating is just joking around. I asked Steve the question, have you ever towed a car? And he gets into the story behind it. So let's hear what Steve has to say about this amazing vehicle. Hey, Steve, I came by earlier. You weren't here, but I got to see a quick walk around around your, your truck. It's so unique. Love the patina. Tell me about it. Yeah, this is unique, all right. It's a 1928 originally open cab. Okay. And in the mix of things it was an original fire truck for the city of belding michigan okay. and uh obviously that the fire department got cold so they grafted this 34 cab onto the 28 chassis okay uh i found it in a barn it was crushed on the right hand side the barn okay. had fell on it really and then the bed was all messed up uh, rotted off uh -huh. i went through and put a new wood bed on right and then the rocker body I had had for many years before this, and okay. I thought I'm just going to save this for a project that I have okay. someday. So I got the truck, I straightened that back out, and I put the rocker body back on it. And so I know you mentioned earlier that um, the cab is not original. Not original. It's yeah, a 34 four, cab. 34 right, cab. Okay. Yep. And that was kind of hard to get parts for, but we managed yeah and then i went through and i kind of shined the inside of the cab up because i have a wife that doesn't like dirty so right. anyways we redid the seats and all okay. that and then i just uh the last thing i did with this is i bought tires okay and i thought to myself "Ooh, this was original fire truck i'm gonna buy the original fire truck tires okay for 849 dollars a pop i thought no nope, yeah I you're not gonna do that no, i did right? not do that so okay. uh we got these tires on and my wife asked me why are you buying the tires last i said because if i get it running and it has tires on it i'm going to drive it and not finish it yeah so i waited makes till sense I, yeah that's why i did it that sure way. but this is a this is a, a manly record bed okay is what this is so over here i noticed real quick a, we've got some creature comforts here. Yes. Yeah, so yes, we've got a heater, heater right? Yep, yep. Okay. And it will cook you right out of the cab. All right. Yep. But yep. what's interesting is why would you have a heater when it was an open cab? Open cab. I don't know. But somebody okay. did it. Keep so your feet warm. Must be. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's take a let's take a peek in here. Can we take a peek in oh, here? You can take a peek in there. All right. Anyway. You okay. want to, let's open it. All right. Oh, let me move the raccoon. <laughs> All right, well, obviously you moved it. It didn't move itself, so that's a good sign. Yep. Um, so uh, the seats, I noticed this. That, Tell me about that. that. That's because I'm a little heavy, and uh, I left the back at home so I can at least drive it. Okay. And then what they did with the the fuel tank okay. is they cut the top off, and they used the original fuel tank as storage. Okay. And then that's why that lever is there. Is this was an original heel to tow truck? Gotcha. And with the original or the fuel tank for the 34, the heel to tow wouldn't work, so they put a shift lever in there. Okay. And then early 28 is why the shift lever is over by the left door. And the other option that this one had is this little lever right here. Okay. That twist knob that is an exhaust cutout. So when they were going to the fire, They'd open up the exhaust so they could get a little bit more horsepower. Gotcha. But and then that little flap door above that, that's, that's the uh, for the heater. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. Gotcha. All right. So that's pretty cool. Yep. And then uh, let's look at the back side of this. Okay. So, first thing I notice is the big stop. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, so, that's so people don't hit me. <laughs> Well, there's something here kind of blocking that, isn't it? Well, I, get, I knocked your hood ornament <laughs> off at least. And yes, it does work. I okay. found that in the junkyard. Really? Trailer. Okay. Off of an old Fruhoff trailer that came into the junkyard. Gotcha. And 
now it should be on. Whoa, that is way, way cool. You might need to renew your license plate, though. No, uh, I just got to repaint it. Oh, okay. So, um, you mentioned cab, but uh, the back side of this, is that the part of the original no, fire? No, it was okay. still a fire truck at the time when they put the cab on, so they, right. paint, they painted it all red. Okay. And uh, why the doors had numbers or names on it, I don't know. Right. But anyhow. And then, uh, so, being a tow truck, this... Uh, Obviously, it was all hand crank. Yes, this is right. All no hand hydraulics, crank. none of that. None of that. You want to go up? You want to go down? Oh, that's way cool. Yep. And then, so what does this lever do? This one runs this winch here. Okay, so kind of winch it. Gotcha. You ever tow anybody? Yes, I have. Really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> We were down to Old Car Fest. Okay. And down at Dearborn. And uh, this is a good story. All right. One of my friends has an Oakland. And I'm driving up around, and I look down, and I see that Oakland sitting down there. So I take this down there, and I said, Hey, bud, what's wrong with your car? He says, Oh, the fuel pump gave up. I said, Bud, do you want me to tow you back to your spot? And he's like, yes, I do. He says, I hope nobody videos this as my wife is standing, sitting there videoing. Gotcha. But the whole kick of this deal is this was Bud's truck. Oh, my goodness. So I got to rub a little bit in. Oh. Well, then he gets back to his spot, and his grandson uh -huh. has a Holmes. And Ben looks and says, Hey, can you tow my homes out to the car or out to the trailer? He says my magneto gave up. Oh, no. so I got to tow two cars at Old Car Fest a couple of years. Ago. Oh, that's awesome! I wish I would have seen that. Yep. So I noticed that you've got tire chains. Yes. Hanging there. So you got to go in the winter time. You get you. you betcha. So you've driven it in the winter. Oh yes. Uh huh. Actually, I came to. I come down here to the Gilmore in the winter time for their snowmobile meet because one of my friends has a, a Model A snowmobile. Right. So if you got a Model A snowmobile, you got snow, you got cars, you got to have a record to get them out of the ditch. Right. So right. That's why I bring it down for that. Oh, that's awesome, man. So how long have you had this? Uh, four years, five years, four right. years now. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. And is this your only Model A or Model AA? This is this is my only Model A. My wife has a Model T, and I'm building another Speedster right now. Fun. Yes. Okay. So will you have that Speedster at Old Car Festival next year? Mm, no, because they won't let it in. It's a they, 37. Oh, okay. Yes. Gotcha. So you'll have this next year. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you Not sharing sharing your story and uh, telling me all about it. Finding a tow truck that actually towed two vehicles, yes. that's pretty cool. So thanks again. Yep, not a problem. Have a good day. You too. Friends, I really hope you enjoyed that. Steve is just a hoot. It was great to meet him in person. I actually saw him at the Old Car Festival, didn't get a chance to interview him. So I was when I saw this pull up at the uh, Model A days, I knew this had to be a story that I had to uh, cover. So I'm so glad I did. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, remember to give us a like and subscribe. Super important to us. But more than anything else, be blessed.